Hi, I'm Jazz Guitarist Ray Dark from New York City. Yeah, how it's good? Okay, let's do we do Love Long Incredible Jazz Guitarist West Montgomery with leaks. And today the leaks did not regular to have leaks. Yeah, how was it? It sounds very has it no regular emotional line, right? So why sound like this? How he thinking? How to play the guitar? How to see the fingerboard? I explain little by little. So please enjoy to watch until the end. After watch this video, next your chance to play. Okay, first time I turn the three points for practice the licks. The first is a chord position. Second is a chord form. Third is a scale. How to use those licks? Yeah, wait little by little. I I explain in next analyzation. Okay, let's practice the licks. No, 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 wait. We should do preparing before practice licks. What is that? Yeah, please play chord progression first. So this is very important in jazz music. Please play chord progression first. Yeah, you often do it. Maybe it different points, so I just make sure. Then this is very important skill in jam session, the jazz guitar. So if you're interested, please watch I upload before how to practice the licks. I explain very deeply the video, so if you're interested, please watch it. Then this video I explain very easy, so after watch this video, please check it. Okay, what is the playing the chord progression? It's not memorize the chord form. Yeah, it's important for guitar, but it's uh, different. Please input this chord sound in your head, this moving, yeah, this is very important. Then after input the chord sound, then play the licks on it. Then if you take your studio, it's very easy to transfer the key with the licks. Yeah, what you thought, it's very simple, don't worry. Yeah, now I just do a little extra because somebody interested about the comping, please enjoy to practice like this. Yeah, of course, swing force is no problem. Important is input the chord sound. Yeah, like this. Please enjoy to practice like this. Then please input the chord sound. Okay, thank you for waiting. Let's analyze the leaks. Then you remember before I said that three point. Then it had a uh, scale, right? Which scale we using? Yeah, we using mode scale today. Then if you don't know about mode scale, please watch I brought it before about the mode scale. I explained the mode scale deeply the video. Then in this video I explained very easy. Yeah, of course. Then after about this video, please watch it. Then first is the chord position. I had to figure out either have the same note and different strings. It's complicated. Yeah, like this, it can play a lot, right? Even different octave. How figure out? Yeah, basically, uh, around the six strings, the fifth strings, is the uh, a lot of guitar take used to, right? So figure out around here. Then today is here. Okay, so system G form the minor. <laughs> and this portion. This portion is a little difficult, but so if you understand, it's very simple. Okay, the portion is the case of system G form the minor. Okay, let's do the chord tone, uh, B flat minor chord tone. 1, 3, 5, 10, 1, 3, 5, 10, 1. Then, B flat minor, the scale is the Dorian scale. Yeah, like this. Then, chord tone is a very important note to make sound the chord. Yeah, chord note. Then, connect to the chord note and scale. So, that it is very simple, right? Okay, let's do the leaks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, until here. Mm -hmm. B flat minor section. Uh, then minor third, then fifths, sevenths, ninths, fifths, ninths, first, then sevenths. Oh, the next section, sorry, until here. Then basically chord tone, flat natural tension is nice, so like this sound. But it has a secret. It's not regular to five. 
You realize? He play D flat major chord on two minor. But it can play D flat major on B flat minor. Yeah, because this is a related chord, right? Add minor third, it's a D flat major, major and minor. So if C is A minor, right? So like that, related chord. So B flat minor and D flat major is subdominant group. So that way it can use. Then, right? Fourth, major third, and fifth, major seventh, and major third. Yeah, exactly. Right? So that why sound very different from the just regular two minor. Okay, uh, let's go to the next E flat sevens. Then the okay, uh, position is here, the cage system C form. Then a uh, chord tone one, three, five, ten, one, three, five, seven, one. Not here, it's okay. Then a uh, scale is E flat uh, mixolydian. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's do the licks. One, two, three, four, oh, one, two, three, four, oh, one. Yeah, until here. So, one, two, three, until here. So, this one is a fourth, fourth, eleventh, then ninth. Oh, no, everything not for attention. This one is thirteen, then this one for thirteen, then this one the fifth. Hmm, it's a little weird, right? Because this one goes to first the D flat minor, the D flat the major, right? Then next one is here, the C7, 3 7. So it's going to minor, uh, that way. Then this one, why is that? It's very popular minor phrase, you know, right? maybe. Yeah. He customized from here, right? Yeah, like that. Then, so that way, you can think as argument, but basically feel like I said Bruce feeling. Yeah, it's next section, but he already think even the five uh, dominant section. Basically, for progression is like this. Yeah, uh, just two boss. But it can use as a measure to five, no problem. So that why well, I want to uh, pick up this list for as two five. <laughs> so basically, this two five no regular uh, high say mind feel like bluesy sound, bluesy approaching. Okay, let's go to tonic, A flat, uh, measure. The chord position here, the chord tone one three five ten one three five seven one. Then uh, A flat Ionium, A flat major scale. Yeah, like this. Uh, okay, let's do the licks. One, two, three, four, oh, one, two, three, four, oh, one, two, three, four, oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, like this. So basically, so you should see this minor, but basically approach the major. Major third, minor third, second, ninth, minor third, major third, then minor third, then major seven, then uh, first. Yeah, like this approach. So basically, I uh, feel like the major minor pentatonic like that approaching, the, like bluesy sound, bluesy approaching. But you have to see the, this major third mm -hmm. or minor. This position, they approach the fifth, right? Yeah, like this. Uh, it's a blue note as a minor. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is it. not regular like two five, but I want to pick up because this is very amazing licks. But please don't stop yet. Yeah, you just do the only one position. At least do the two position uh, around the say, six and the fifth.
Yeah, like this. Please use a three point like that before we do. Yeah, you can do it. Then you can figure out a lot of stuff. Then uh, basically it depends on the leaks, but these leaks you cannot do the, I say, octave some point. So that's what I do. Then octave down. Yeah, this is basically C G position, right? Mm -hmm. Like that, you can figure out. Okay, please don't stop yet. Why? Now you do the different position. Yeah, please do different key too. Yeah, I don't say about do the twelve key. Yeah, I know you're busy. Even different one uh, key is okay. Any key, your favorite key or no favorite key, whatever you can do. Yeah, like this. Now I just do the C major key, so the 2-5, the D minor 7, G7, yeah, like that. Okay, last time I played the two chorus improvisation. First is I play randomly and connect to West Mongolia this licks. Yeah, how was it? Yeah, you can play like that. Your legs to connect to West Mongol legs and opposite West Mongol to your legs. Whatever you can practice. Please try out a lot of your legs. Then if you take it too, it be able to use in jam session be natural. Okay, today this is it. I hope. Okay, today this is it. Please enjoy to practice like this and enjoy just get life together. Okay, thank you for watching until the end. I hope we meet different video too. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.